Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through this story on three-dimensional vectors. And in today's lesson, we are going to talk about dot and cross product of vectors. So shall we start with the dot product. Consider two vectors A, vector A given by A1, A2, and A3, and vector B given by B1, B2, B3. The dot product of vectors A and B is written as A dot B. So note that this dot must be visible and that dot product is defined as a dot b equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b cos theta where a dot b is the same as this times this to give you that then this times that to give you that and this times this to give you that which is the sum of the components. Then magnitude of A, we already saw it in the introduction part in lesson 1. So magnitude of A will be A1 squared plus B A2 squared plus A3 squared, everything under root. Magnitude of B will be B1 squared, B2 squared plus B3 squared, everything under root. And theta is the angle between the vectors A and B. In other words, this can be used to get an angle between two vectors. Because this you know it, this you know it, and this you know it. So let's go through this problem. Find the, so given the coordinates P, which is 2, 3, negative 2, 2, which is 1, 4, negative 1, 4, 2, and R, which is 3, 1, negative 2, find the angle between P, 2, and 2, R. So we shall start. P2 is the same as O2 minus OP. So O2 is this position vector of 2 and OP is the position vector of P. So O2 is that, OP is that. When you subtract 1 minus 2 to give to be negative 1, 4 minus 3 to be 1, and 2 minus negative 2 to be 4. Then you shall also get 2R. 2R is the same as OR minus O2. So OR is the position vector of R, which is 3, 1, negative 2. 3, 1, negative 2. O2, it was already seen here, which is 4, sorry, 1, for 2. When you subtract 3 minus 1, it will be 2. 1 minus 4, it will be negative 3. And negative 2 minus 2, it will be negative 4. So we have now got P2 and 2R. So the, when we dot the 2, P2 and 2R, we shall get this and that. Then magnitude of P2 will, will be that which is square root of one negative 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 4 squared, which is that. Then magnitude of 2R will be square root of 2 squared plus negative 3 squared plus negative 4 squared, which is that. Then theta, cos theta, where theta is the angle required. Now this dot this will be negative 1 times 2 to give you negative 2, 1 times negative 3 to give you negative 3, and 4 times negative 4 to give you negative 16. Then when you simplify this, it will be negative root, sorry, it will be root 18, and this will be root 29. So our aim is to make theta the subject, and when we make theta the subject, we shall come up with 156.8014 degrees. So that's how they get the angle between two vectors. Now we shall go to cross product. So if you have vectors A and B, A is A1, A2, A3, B is B1, B2, B3, the cross product of A and B is written as A cross B. Now this one no longer means multiplication, it means cross. So we pronounce it as A cross B and is defined as a cross B is equal to magnitude of A, magnitude of B, and sine theta. Remember, for dot product, this was cos theta. For cross, this is sine. We shall now see how to get A cross B. So, remember our A is A1, A2, A3. So, we put it in that form. Up it will be I, J, K. So, we put the I component j components and k components now we shall start with a which is a1 a2 and a3 
followed by B which is B1, B2 and B3. Then we shall now break it up so that we, if we put I here we ignore this column of I and go with these remaining ones of I of J and K. So this and this it will be A2, A3, B2, B3. That's what we put here. Minus. Now for J we have to put minus. You should note that. J we put minus J. Then in brackets it means we should ignore the column of J and we, and we write this and that. So we shall write A1, A3, B1, B3. Which is this A1, A3, B1, B3. Then plus K. Then here it means we ignore the column of K and write the ones of I and J. So we shall write A1, A2, B1, B2, which is that. A1, A2, B1, B2. Now from there, we shall now get its magnitude or determinant, which will be major diagonal minus the minor diagonal. So major will be A2, B3, which is that minus the minor which is b2 a3 which is that my then here it will be minus which is that then put j here do the same here magnitude of that should be a1 b3 minus b1 a3 which is that then add on the k's there then still do the same magnitude of that to be a1 b1 b2 minus b1 a2 which is that so that is how they cross to vectors and should note that when you cross two vectors what you get is still a vector. I think you can see here there is i, j and k. Unlike for dotting, when you dot two vectors we get a scalar, when you cross we get a vector. Magnitude of a will be that a1 squared b2 a2 squared and a3 squared everything under root. b will be b1 squared plus b2 squared plus b3 squared everything under root so shall use the knowledge to go through the solution to the following problem find the vector c which is normal to vectors a and b so when we cross two vectors we get a vector and that vector is perpendicular to the two vectors which you crossed so in this case it means that when you cross a with b what you'll get will be the vector which is perpendicular to both A and B. Therefore, the vector C which they want will be equal to A cross B. So come and write I, J, K. We'll remove that negative. So A, vector A is 5, 3, 1. Come and write 5, 3, 1. Vector B is 1, 2, 2. Come and write 1, 2, 2. So in this case, when you put I here, it means we ignore this column and write this, which is that. Minus J, ignore the J column and write the rest, which is that. Plus K, ignore the K column and write the rest, which is that. Now at this step, we shall get the magnitude. So major minus minor. This will be 6 minus this, which is 2. Then minus J in brackets. This and this will give you 10. This and this will give you 1. So it's a the 2. For k, it will be this and this will give you 10. And this and that to give you 3. So 6 minus 2 is 4. 10 minus 1 is 9. Then there's also this minus, which is negative 9 now. Then 10 minus 3 is 7, which is that. So this will be the vector perpendicular to both a and b. And that has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel, Roa, a learning platform.